Well, it's 6.30. Technically, I would have started eating already a couple of hours ago. I usually break my fasts at 4.30. I forgot my flip-flops in the car. I'm doing fine, doing great. Everything feels good. Not any hungrier than normal. I just finished cooking hamburgers for my family and uh, I'm just gonna drink some mineral water. Yay, I'm so excited. Throw some lemon in there. Be good to go. It is about 5.30 on Wednesday. So I've been fasting for just about 48 hours now. I have to admit, I'm feeling, feeling really hungry, like a little bit low energy. So I'm just laying down for a minute. Um, I was reading in articles like I've been doing, getting ready for this and still doing to keep me focused and motivated that a lot of people just like rest the whole time. Go to Some people go to retreats and just like sleep. I'm a stay at home mom of two kids, so that's not happening. So I'm just going to try my best to take it easy. I thought that I'd be like working out to get the extra calorie burn, but it is supposed to be a more so restful experience. So I'm gonna take it day by day and hopefully be able to have some good experiences to share with you guys. And if it's bad, I'll, I'll tell you that as well too. It is Thursday night at about 10.30. Today was a lot better in terms of the hunger. I've noticed that it's more like annoying, like mental, emotional hunger. I just really want to eat everything. It doesn't matter what it is, I want to eat it. And I'm sure this is probably TMI, but some GI issues as things are getting cleaned out, I guess is the nicest way to put it. I was up pretty much every hour last night having to go pee, so a lot of flushing of the systems happening. A little bit of irritability, losing my patience a little bit. All in all, it's been pretty good. Hopefully I'll have a good sleep. Okay, I'll check in tomorrow. All right, everyone. It's Friday morning at about 10.30. Oh, Casey lost her tooth, she wants you to see. Okay. There we go. Okay, so I don't know about this. I, uh, this morning I felt very weak. Like I bent down to pick something up because I'm tidying, just light tidying. And just very breathless. And then when I got up, I felt very dizzy and had a hard time getting that to go away. It's still there and it's been about 10 minutes. And I felt like my heart was racing and so I put my heart rate monitor on. It's even hard holding this phone up, which is crazy. I'm gonna switch hands, just hang on a sec. And my heart rate was up over, it went fluctuated between like 115 and like 126, not doing anything. So I'm just kind of sitting down and it's hovering at around 102, which is still high for not doing anything, I think. So I'm gonna hang on and just take it easy. Um, I don't know if it subsides, then I'll keep going. But if it's persistent throughout the day, then I'm probably gonna have a little bit of fruit later on. We'll see how it goes. Okay, I'll keep, I'll keep you guys posted. I don't wanna be, I don't wanna seem like, like an extremist or like somebody that, oh yeah, that's gonna work. Yeah, it's totally gonna come when he sees you holding that. I don't wanna seem like too hardcore or extreme, but I really wanna be able to accomplish my goal. I wanna feel like, I don't know, I'm worried that if I quit, I'm, I'm failing, but if I did quit because of feeling this way, like not feeling good physically, then that would be like a medically necessary ending of the fast rather than quitting or failing because of giving in to the desire to eat. I'll have to think about it and pray about it. And I know that, you know, the, the family that I've talked to about this, like my mother-in-law and my mother and my sister, the first thing they're all like, is that safe? 
I mean, I did, I, I did my research. I, you guys could probably, if you play drinking games, you could probably play drinking games with the number of times I say, well, I read this, or I heard this, or I listened to this podcast, or, I mean, I've, I've done my research and there's like, tons of people that do it not only for like weight loss but for the healing of the body and detoxification and for increased spirituality due to religious reasons like there's a whole host of reasons that water fasting is done and so not only from the weight loss perspective but I also wanted to okay it's time to switch arms again experience the healing and the cleansing process as well as healing mentally and emotionally but i don't know we'll have to see i'll check in later let you know if i'm still alive i'm sitting in front of my bedspread which is drying over the banister and I'll explain that in just a minute. Just an update on my nine day water fast. So I had uh, those issues yesterday in the morning time. Then at about quarter after one in the morning, my son woke up with a bloody nose. And so he went to the bathroom to take care of it and I looked at my bedspread and there was blood everywhere. So I had to lift this heavy bedspread and carry it into the laundry room, start soaking it in cold water right away. But as I was scrubbing, I was feeling that breathlessness and just like, I felt like I was gonna pass out, like I thought I was gonna faint. And I was like, I can't do this. But at the same time, I felt really horrible because I knew that I'd set a goal for nine days. And you know, there's people that do it for like 21 and 28 and 40 days. But for me, I think I need to be able to go about my daily life. I've got to be able to clean this house. I'm a stay at home mom. I have to be able to keep things tidy and you know, do laundry and sweep and mop and bend over to pick stuff up without worrying that I'm gonna faint. And I was irritable all the time and hung, like obviously hungry, but most like a mental hunger because I felt like I should be eating. The increased control over my thoughts towards food that I thought would happen did not happen in it was the opposite. It was it went way up and it was became all I could think about. Whereas before with intermittent fasting, I didn't care at all during the day fasting because I knew when my feeding window was. So I would say ultimately it didn't end up being what I thought. And if it was all just that emotional stuff, that would be fine. But because of how I've been feeling physically with the breathlessness and increased heart rate and feeling like I was gonna faint and that I couldn't catch my breath, all of that just wasn't worth it to me for the benefits. So once I'd finished scrubbing my bedspread, I had some orange slices and some carrots and some Melba toast just to break the fast. And then I'm just gonna go through the day and then I'm going to ease into my regular feeding window time and get back on track with that. And then once I feel like my energy has returned, then I will get back into the swing of things with working out. Overall, I would say if it's something that you're wanting to do, do your research and give it a try see how you feel i probably won't try it again but i could maybe just insert every now and then like a 48 hour fast or something like that but i don't see myself just because of my life and what i need to be able to do energy wise on a daily basis i can't see myself doing it on a long term again so hope you enjoyed my updates on the water fast and uh, i'll talk to you guys again soon Bye.